All right, so this is CMRA round two, Hallett. This is April, 2023. First launch on the new R6 here. Did not go to plan. <laughs> Wheelied, slammed it back down and then back on the throttle. Starting from the back of the grid anyway, because I have no points in the class. Um, but here we go into turn one. So I believe that's Brandy Cox on the right on a Gixxer 600. Um, I'm not entirely sure who I just passed there. It's been a minute since I've been in the 600 class with CMRA, so I don't know everyone. This is later that lap, so here I passed Brandy. And then trying to, trying to maximize the drive onto the straight. This is a couple corners later. For the sake of time, I cut out a chunk. And there she is going by me again and I caught up to Tyson Henry. She got by both of us in the same corner. Um, but he's on an R6 here. So I try to try to get a drive out of here and then I'm fairly quick in, in uh, turn four. So I thought about a pass here. You can see me get close, get alongside almost, and then back out. I, I just didn't want to, wasn't worth screwing up both of our races if I did something wrong. So I sat behind him for half a lap and then here get a good drive out of turn nine and then just later on the brakes into turn 10 if he wanted to he could have fought me for that position um, he's a quick rider for sure but I he he kind of let me have it um, so then you know try and maximize drive onto the straightaways here I caught it up to Parker <clears throat> a couple corners later Parker Williams on his triumph he was the top novice last year so he has a red number one on his bike but kind of same thing here, caught up to him in turn four, got a little closer than I would have intended, went alongside him almost and kind of backed out, just decided it was not a uh, not a place that I was comfortable passing. And then kind of same thing here, just decided to, decided to stick behind him for half a lap, kind of find a better opportunity to pass. So here we go, turn 10, this is that same lap, coming onto the, coming onto the straightaway. And the audio freaks out at high rev ranges. I don't know what's going on there. I'll try and fix it before the next round. So get, got Parker on the brakes there, but I was kind of offline there, so didn't get a great drive out of turn one. So you'll see Weston on his R6, takes a little peek at me. He's a novice, so he, he uh, started a few seconds behind us, but he's closed the gap, obviously. Um, so then this is the next lap. So Weston stayed behind me that whole, that whole lap and I kind of screwed up turn one again. There was a big tailwind on the front straightaway, so I kept braking too late, missing my braking markers because I was just going faster than I intended. So then Weston gets by me. So again, I just try to maximize my drive here out of three. And then back on the brakes. My auto blipper wasn't working, so that's why you hear the weird clutch stuff going on. Stick behind him through four, five, six. And then we catch up to some Provnov, some uh, some lappers here. Probably should have waited a corner to pass that Provnov or gone around the outside. It was a little late, but I gave him a little wave. It was closer than I intended. So this is later, uh, half a lap later. Same thing. We take some different lines going through turn two, turn three. But yeah, my auto blipper, blipper wasn't working, so I was just working my slipper clutch. Got by him in turn four, and then flip it back, and just full throttle down the hill. Just let it eat. You got a, a bunch of track here to use up, so you can just be pretty aggressive on the throttle down there. And through the long left-hander back on the straight, and then I did lap after lap after lap, never saw anyone, so here's the checkered flag. <laughs> That was the end of the lap, the uh, C Super Stock race, race one for me that day. So then next up we have A Super Bike. So this is 1000s and 600s. Got a better launch, way better launch this time than in race one. Uh, but those 1000 CC bikes just destroy me. There's no way I can keep up in the in the straight line there. So there's Ross Brady on his on his uh, Honda there on the right, and I'm gonna change out my number plate so you can see better in the front for the next next races. There's Jeff Fouché on his, uh, it's his CBR 1000 as well. Um, but yeah, just still working out kinks on the bike. I only only did three races 
this weekend. This is race two of three because I was having clutch issues and didn't get much practice in. Just got two sessions of warm up and then straight into the racing on this brand new bike. Well, brand new to me, I should say. So here I'm behind Ross Brady. This is, I believe, that next lap. And then got by, um, actually, who is that? I should know this, but I don't know who that is. My bad. Sorry if you're watching this. But, um, yeah, caught back up to Ross, and that's Parker in front of Ross. And then Ross, I think, hits a false neutral here, or hits neutral. Something, something weird went on there. So I got by him, caught back up to Parker. Just trying to close the gap up to Parker. So this is later that that same lap, I believe. It's kind of same thing as as usual. Think about a pass in turn four and then bail out. Turn five. Sometimes you can pass there on braking if you get a good drive. Or turn six, I mean, sorry, is where we're at now. Sometimes if you get a good drive out of five, you can get him on the brakes in a six, but it wasn't to be this time. So I'm just trying to stick on him, wait for him to make a mistake, or wait for an area where I'm significantly quicker than him so I don't have to do a sketchy pass. So just kind of staying on him as best as I can. Coming out of nine. Maximize the drive out of there, late on the brakes. And kind of same thing here, a little close for comfort. If he wanted to fight me back for it, he could have. But, um, but yeah, I was... I was kind of timid being my first race weekend back in a while, and I think everyone else kind of was too. So then no no traffic the rest of the race, that's the checkered flag that was like four laps later after I passed Parker. Kind of the, the end of these races has been pretty anticlimactic. All the action happens up in the, in the front while the leaders get away and then I never catch them back up. Okay, so this is C Superbike, this is my third race of the weekend, got a good drive there. Or good, uh, good, good launch. I mean, trying to be a little more aggressive into turn one. There's Brandy Cox, I believe, on her uh, Jixer 600. Thought about going down the inside, but just too timid. So I lost a position there. See if I can see the number. So it took way too wide of an entry there. I do like to keep it tight on the exit though, so I can flop back over and get a good drive out of out of turn five. I'll kind of show you next time we go through there. So here we go. Went for the pass. Oh, that's uh, that's Ron Mears on his new R6. I didn't recognize him on a, on the new bike. That's my bad. Um, so we're both on new R6s to us this weekend. So it looks like he kind of got, got caught up with that rider up there. And then I try, try my best to make a clean pass here. And he kind of gives me the, gives me the spot, didn't fight it hard. He's a significantly faster rider than me, but he's on a new bike too. So we're kind of figuring it out as we go. So here we go. I think this is Tyson. No, no, no. That's Parker. Sorry. I'm trying to trying to look at my little computer screen while I record the voiceover. But there we go. Got him into turn two. And then I'll kind of show you a a bit of a lap here. Not that I'm the expert around Hallett, but kind of show you my line. So I keep it a little tight on the entrance, and then cut it really tight on the exit. I usually try to keep even farther to the right than I was there. And then cut it left and just full throttle down this whole little straightaway there. This turn's kind of tough. I don't know if... I think I normally double apex that a little bit. Just so I can get on the throttle a little earlier for this long straight. And then here you brake, you turn left, you turn right, and you're back on the throttle and then back on the brakes. And then you turn up the hill and just... just crank the throttle open as soon as you can. Anytime you can do that on an exit coming onto a long straightaway, it's a big help. 
So then here we are coming back onto the main straightaway and then I think the rest of the race I don't really see anyone so here's yeah here's the last corner last corner last lap the third race that weekend so it's pretty much uh, pretty much all there is to see so that was my uh, my weekend rewind for Hallett only got two warm-up sessions and then those three races and then packed up and went home I was having clutch issues and auto blipper issues and throttle issues so it was a, a bit of a mess um, and the camera setup issues but those are all things that I'll fix for the future I'm doing the whole season of MRA out here in Colorado moved to Colorado from Wichita Kansas um, and so got a new new bike new suit new helmet you can see all that in the uh, in the camera here um, so should be a really good season. I'm really excited to uh, see how it turns out, and I'm planning on recording all my races this year. So I'll be doing uh, posting the full races for the racers to watch, and then posting these highlights for people with attention spans like mine to watch. <laughs> so anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.